What is the incredibly deep meaning behind the Last Supper? When Jesus honored the Passover meal with his disciples right before his crucifixion and then resurrection. Jesus had gathered his disciples and they were going to honor Passover, which God had commanded to be a commemoration of the exodus of his people out of slavery, out of Egypt and headed toward the promised land. And if you remember, God accomplished that deliverance through the 10 plagues, the last of which was the plague of the death of the firstborn. The firstborn animal and son in every home was to die. The Egyptians, as well as the Israelite homes, unless, unless the people in the household did as God commanded, and that was to take the blood of an unblemished lamb, a lamb without defect. They were to take the blood of an unblemished lamb. They slay the lamb, drain its blood, take a hyssop branch, dip it into the lamb's blood, and paint the blood of that lamb over the door frame of their homes. And God said, if you do this, if you do this, then when I send the death angel through Egypt, I will pass over your house. No death will enter into the home of those who have the blood over the doorpost. That's why it's called the Passover meal. What a beautiful picture. Because on the night of Jesus' betrayal, right before he went to the cross, he honored Passover with his disciples. He gathered them together and he told them that the wine that they were about to drink represented his blood. That the bread that they would break represented his body being broken for them, his blood being spilled for them. He was essentially saying, I am the fulfillment of that Old Testament foreshadowing. I am the real lamb. I am not an unblemished animal, but I am sinless God-man. That's why John the Baptist said of Jesus, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So on that Thursday, as Jesus has the Last Supper, as he honors Passover with his disciples, he is about to shed his blood, let his body be broken for us. And he does it at Passover to show what a beautiful fulfillment he is of that Old Testament picture. Because listen, in the Old Testament, they took the blood of an animal, an unblemished lamb, and painted it over a doorpost so that death, physical death, would not come to them that night. But today, praise God, today we take the blood of Jesus, the blood of the perfect sinless lamb of God. We take his blood. And we paint it over our hearts, as it were. Spiritually, we say by faith, Jesus, I believe that the blood you shed was for the forgiveness of my sins, and I willingly paint it over my heart. And my friend, when we do that, the promise is that spiritual, eternal, and physical death passes over us. Death for the believer is something that we go through, but immediately we pass into life. Praise God. Death is not the end. The death angel has no power over the true believer. When we close our eyes to this world, we open them up to the presence of God. And one day, even our physical bodies come out of the tomb. Why? Because the blood of Jesus is painted over our hearts. What a fulfillment of the Old Testament Passover. The death angel passes over the one who has the blood of Jesus applied to their heart. And so I think of that Thursday when Jesus honored Passover, the Last Supper with his disciples, the things that must have been going through his mind 
but oh, what he knew he was accomplishing for you and I. And so my question is, knowing that that is what the Passover is really about and knowing how Jesus fulfilled it. My friend, have you applied his blood to your heart? Because the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You don't have to fear death. Jesus has taken care of it for you. All you need to do is to apply his precious blood.